Food for Soul and Goa co-working present today's readings and reflection. December 26, 2022 Feast of St. Stephen First Martyr A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia, came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of the young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection on Today's Readings by Bob Merry second day of Christmas, I hope and pray that your day yesterday was filled with joy, peace, and love as you celebrated the birth of our Lord, Jesus Christ, today we continue the celebration of Christmas. Christmas is such a big feast in the church that it cannot be limited to a single day. Throughout these days after Christmas, the church continues to pray celebrating the most sacred night, day, on which blessed Mary the Immaculate Virgin brought forth the Savior for this world. Eucharistic Prayer I Today we also celebrate the Feast of Saint Stephen. It may seem strange to celebrate Saint Stephen on this second day of Christmas, especially as we hear the readings dealing with suffering and death which come to a follower and witness, Martyros, of Jesus. I have a special place in my heart as I reflect on Stephen. It flows partly from my work in Stephen ministry. 
Let me summarize the story of Saint Stephen with a reflection on his life. At the time of the early church, the apostles are busy about the ministry of the word, that is, they are proclaiming the good news, gospel, of Jesus the Christ in their preaching. There is such a large number of converts to Christianity, known as the way, that some of the people's needs are not being met. This is particularly true of some of the converts who are Greek-speaking, and especially the Greek-speaking widows. The apostles realize their major ministry is the proclamation of the word through their preaching and teaching. After prayer, they appoint seven individuals as diakonoi, a Greek word meaning those who minister or serve. The title deacon comes from this same Greek work, Acts 6 verses 1 to 7. Among the diakonoi is Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, Acts 6 verse 5. Stephen serves and ministers to the needs of people. Obviously he not only proclaims the good news by his acts of service and deeds of ministry, but he also speaks words which proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. In the first reading for today, we hear that he works great wonders and signs among the people. So much so that certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Roman Freedmen challenge Stephen. There are a few thoughts about who the Synagogue of Roman Freedmen were. Some say that they were persons who were slaves of the Romans who had been freed, became proselytes of the Jewish religion, and had a synagogue in Jerusalem. Other scripture scholars say that they were a Greek-speaking synagogue of the first century Hellenized diaspora Jews. They engaged Stephen in debate, but they prove no match for the wisdom and spirit with which Stephen speaks, true to what Jesus says in today's Gospel, Stephen is hauled into court and is brought to trial before the religious leaders. And also true to the Gospel message of today, Stephen does not worry about what he will say or how he will speak. For when the hour of his trial arrives, Stephen is given what to say, although it is not in today's first reading, see Acts 6 verses 11 to 7, 53. He realizes, as Jesus says in today's Gospel, that he is not the speaker but the spirit of the Jesus Abba Father is speaking in and through him. Stephen gives witness, Marcherizo, to Jesus the Christ and how he is the fulfillment of the Hebrew scriptures from the time of Abraham to Moses and beyond. Stephen chastises the leaders of the Jews and blames them for acting like their ancestors of old who persecuted the prophets, spokespersons for God. Stephen points out to them that they did not listen to Jesus but instead put Jesus to death. Obviously, Stephen's words upsets the religious leaders. As we hear in the first reading, Stephen then has a vision of the Lord Jesus standing at God's right hand. The Jewish leaders immediately drag him outside the city and stone him. The eastern gate of the old city of Jerusalem today is also called Stephen's Gate for this reason. As he is being stoned, he prays, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. As a link to Stephen's prayer, today's psalm is, Psalm 31 in which we hear the verse into your hands, I commend my spirit. Stephen ultimately gives witness to the Lord Jesus, not just by his serving as a diakonos, servant, minister, to the needs of people, but also, he is the first martyr, martyros is the Greek word for witness, who testifies, gives witness, to the person of Jesus by giving of his life. As I reflected on the person of Stephen and the readings and the continued celebration of Christmas, I realized that the message of the incarnation and birth of Jesus is not just a story of a baby being born in a stable. 
It is the good news of God's love for us, which ultimately is shown by Jesus' death and resurrection. And this is the good news we are called to proclaim, first, like Stephen, by being diakonoi, people who minister and serve the needs of others. And, if necessary, to proclaim and give witness to the word by speech, and ultimately even by our death. These may not be the most pleasant thoughts on this second day of Christmas. But that is fully the message of the child born to a virgin, God loves us enough to share our humanity, and wants us to share in the divine life and serve one another, and to give witness to the good news of God's love, even to the point of death. Jesus is born to share our humanity, we must die to ultimately share in the divine life. Our lives are meant to be witnesses, martyroi, and servants, diakonoi, to the good news of Jesus Christ, beginning with his birth and ending with his death and resurrection and his ultimate coming in glory at the end of time. The Personal Question or Action for Today How is the Lord Jesus calling me to be a diakonos, servant slash minister? In what ways can I proclaim the good news by my acts of assisting others? How have I given witness, martyrizo, to the good news? As I continue the celebration of Christmas and spend time with family and friends, how can I proclaim the reason for the season, God's love becoming incarnate for our salvation? Let us pray, blessed are you, Lord God, our loving Abba Father. Through your goodness, you have given us the gift of your Son, Jesus. He was born in the flesh to announce your love for us. He gave his life as sign of love. You have called individuals from that time on to proclaim your message of love through serving and witnessing. Give us the strength to serve and give witness to the people whom you have placed in our lives, our family, friends, co-workers, and chance acquaintances. Thank you for the example of Saint Stephen, who was a servant and a witness. As always, we want to give you all the praise and glory, together with your Son Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for you are our one and only triune God, forever and ever. Amen. The Feast of Saint Stephen has been celebrated the day after Christmas for centuries. In a popular song during the Christmas time, Good King Wenceslas, we hear that the Good King looked out on the Feast of Stephen. Wenceslas lived in the 10th century. Presented by Father Frankie Fernandez OFM Capuchin Justice Peace Integrity Creation JPIC Capuchin Goa